Hi guys, welcome back to the Humble Gamer channel. I am the Humble Gamer and we are back on Train Simulator. Now, we are same pro same thing as before. We're having a quick run along a uh, a workshop route. This is the Swindon to Gloucester version 2.5, I think. I'll check in the description exactly what what it is. You can all find it on the Steam Workshop. I shall link it in the description below. We are driving a 57XX 060 pannier tank. Uh, and we're actually not going all the way to... Uh, this is the route, by the way. We're actually not going all the way from uh, Swindon to Gloucester because it hasn't been built yet. It is still a work in progress. What we are doing is going from Swindon Junction up the Highworth branch to Highworth Station. Uh, this is a... We will be coming back here to do... Um, to do the Swindon Central to Stroud or possibly even Swindon Town to Stroud but uh, since you've last seen me on YouTube anyway I've learned to drive it properly so let's get a bit more coal in there shall we but yeah this is a uh, a workshop route and I'm very excited to go from Swindon to Highworth uh, the Highworth branch line is was actually a big branch line on I believe it was actually a Microsoft train simulator so and I played it then and I got and it came with some wonderful stock um, unfortunately not all the stock is available for it uh, on uh, TS 2018 yet like the old 240s I've got the 042s on the GWRs but the old 240 locomotives were very very interesting little things but yes we shall now we're gonna be traveling at a very steady pace, I imagine, to Highworth. It's going to take about half an hour, it says. Uh, possibly a little shorter than that, because I probably won't be stopping at every single... I'll be stopping at most of them. But yes, as you can see, there's uh, quite a few little... But Swindon itself is very, very well detailed. There's Swindon Town. Um... And yeah, that would be. That's going out east. And this presumably must be going west. But yes, you can obviously see. If I take us away from the train for a second, you can obviously see the huge amount of work that has gone into. into this. Particularly in the track. And making Swindon feel like Swindon. You know, it's been a long time uh, since I actually managed to do anything useful at the head of the GWR. But now, we will one day, uh, probably in the next video, we shall go from Swindon to Stroud using a big express loco. Because I have a few of those. But we're just now going to go through Swindon Yard and out onto the Highworth branch. Pulling this lovely little matchbox tank, which for the uninitiated will probably just go, oh, it's Duck! Which he is. Duck is based on a 57 X pannier. I say the uninitiated, that's probably the wrong way to phrase it, makes me sound like an arrogant dick. Um, which, in, you know, uh, would, wouldn't be an entirely unfair description of me, I guess. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so now we're going to go up, off up the Highworth branch. And it's nice to just be sitting here playing some train sim. I haven't done this in a long, long time. Um, and don't worry, Sodor Snippets is coming back. Uh, the main line isn't finished yet, so you the main line might take a bit of time to get out onto the world of YouTube, but it is coming. Oh, God. <laughs> just look at me right at the start of the video saying, I know how to drive it properly now. I don't. I've just filled my fire up with 100% of coal. So the steam pressure is going to be good. The steam pressure is going to be very, very good. <laughs> but I'm amazed the safety valve hasn't popped yet. But either way, it hasn't. And that's the important thing as we... Uh... Oh, it's a slight uphill. That'll slow us down. As we leave Swindon. On to the Highworth branch. We will quickly stop at Stratton. coming up in about 0.9 of a mile. This is the good thing. I'm now I'm now just sat there in the cab, not touching any major controls. Oh, it's a bit wobbly. 
is a bit wobbly this track. I like it. I like it. It gives that sort of branch line feel to it. What are we going past? I don't know Swindon very well at all. We're going past Ammonium Nitrate Works. Not that one, that one. Thank you. So there's some Ammonium Nitrate going on here. And from what I've seen, because I have occasionally seen maps of the Swindon Yards, from what I've seen, they've done a really good job of um, a really good job of replicating it. It looks pretty accurate from what I remember of the maps I've seen. Obviously, I've never been to Swindon Works because when I was born, it was sadly gone. There's little bits here and there, but um, but yes. As I was saying, to finish my point off, the Sodor Snippet series is coming back. There is more Sodor to come. The main line isn't finished yet, but I've got some pretty, uh, I've got some other pretty awesome stuff. That I think you guys will enjoy seeing. At least I hope you will, anyway. Now let's get some proper steam up this hill. Keep us at 15 mph, since it is a one in 83. Obviously, traditionally, this would probably be more of an 042 or 240s here. An 060 saddle tank, maybe? The GWR had a couple of those. They inherited from the Welsh lines when it uh, just absorbed them in the grouping. But, um, but yeah, you've already seen me run an 042. My initial, my initial thought was, oh, great, I can play an 042 at the end. And then I thought, no, no, they've seen you drive one of those. They know all about your love affair with the 042. Let's give them something slightly different. I don't care that I'm speeding. I'm not going to be speeding for long, am I? There we go. As we head towards Stratton. We've pulled the um, arrival time down as well, so... This is another one of those videos where, despite the fact that I'm now used to streaming and talking for quite a long time, I'm going to have to talk crap at you, and I apologise, YouTube, straight away for that. Uh, have I got my um, my Reader's Digest Book of Railways, or my Dad's Reader's Digest Book of Railways? Again, being professional, haven't prepared it beforehand like a normal person might. Let's just pull into Strat, which I'm presuming is probably just a sort of semi-suburb of Swindon. Again, I've never been to Swindon, so I think I've been through it. I've been to the Swindon in the in the uh, in the West Midlands in the Black Country, but this is not that Swindon. I mean, actually, actually, I'm pretty happy with the stop, though. Pretty happy with the stop. But let's have a quick look at Stretton Station. Looking nice. Presumably, that's a coal thing, I would guess. That's just a siding and a loading bay and. Pretty standard GWR um, wayside station. Now all the passengers are on, so I have to say, this uh, the 062 came from a uh, came from the Falmouth branch. The 062, the 060 came from the Falmouth branch, and I have to say, the one thing that I'm not 100% happy with is the whistle. Um, my hometown is Kidderminster, where, you know, when I'm not normally from Coventry or Leamington, as some of you may have known me from. Uh, my hometown is Kidderminster, and that is where the Seven Valley Railway is, and we have many 060 panniers, and it just it doesn't sound like that. It just doesn't. But either way, let's watch as we come chuffing out of the station. Surprisingly powerful, the little pannier tanks, actually. There's away he goes. But then I suppose they were designed for shunting, so sometimes, sometimes when you're shunting, you have to uh, you have to pull stuff that you're not that is going to be heavy for you on a normal day's day shift. So you know, a little bit of a bump there. I presume we're still, yeah, we're still pretty, pretty wobbly track-wise. But, yeah, you know. 
That's kind of how it goes on a branch line. So what's the next thing? Gonna, what's the next place we're going to stop at? We're going to Kingsdown Road Junction. We ignore that. We stop at Stanton, Fitzwarren, then Hannington, and Highworth. This would have been a, this would have been a good one for um, a diesel rail car, GWR or otherwise. So uh, I might do. There will be more diesels coming up as well. There's going to be some. Um, I'm going to try and expand the train sim stuff. Um, in terms of what locomotive you see me drive, obviously I prefer, and I will, you know, say this without any shame or anything. I prefer the steamers. I prefer steamers. I think they're more interesting to drive. They're certainly more interesting to look at. But then I know that there are plenty of people out there that enjoy the diesels as much as I enjoy the steamer. So I will be doing some diesel work as well on appropriate routes and maybe some electric work as well. You never know how lucky you might get. Yeah, so now this is Kingsdown Road Junction we're approaching. So look, the detail on this, the scenery in this, detail in this scenery is really quite nice actually. It looks simple but effective. So this is the, uh, presumably some form of gas or wax. Let's give ourselves a signalman's view, shall we? Goes, oh, that's close. That's close. If I was a signalman, I'm kind of the signalman's child at the moment. That's that's more signalman height, I think. Oh, good, we're not speeding. That's a positive. And the caps lock off. So I was trying to click the accelerate button, and uh, I hit the caps lock button instead. Why am I going down to 10 miles an hour? Why is that a thing, route? I'm sure it's accurate for the route, but I'm just wondering why. But yeah, so as I was saying, don't worry, there will be some diesel footage coming your way as well. Or footage with diesels in. Um, some of it will be on Sodor. Because diesels play a big part of Sodor, actually. And I don't just mean the steamy diesels argument. Uh, but yeah, if you are interested in this... Uh, I'll mention this at the end of the video, but if you're interested... If you're interested sorry, I'll put my teeth in. In the um, Sodor snippet stuff, you can check it out in the link in the description below. Along with the link to the rest of this playlist as well, so you can see the, the routes I've done previously. Okay, so we're going downhill. And they decided to put a 10 mph speed limit on it. Start putting some water in. But why? This is my question. What is it about this bank that warrants a 10 mph speed limit? Come on, slow the fuck down. Thank you. Well, at least it's starting to slow anyway. I've got to stop for Stanton Fitzwarren, but uh, I've got to. This route looks it looks really nice. I, ho I only hope the main line is um, is as detailed. Ah, that would be why. That's quite a big corner. I mean, I can probably take it at twenty, but. Oh, that's not that big. It was deceptively big, I think. But yeah, going back, I, I, this route looks really nice. It's a nice country route. And actually, for scenario writers, you could use the Highworth branch as a... Uh, like if you did uh, main diesel stuff on the big thing, you could um, make it a modern version, make it a modern looking route. I mean, obviously, the, it's built to be in the 1960s, I think. Again, that's in the title of the route which you can find in the link in the description below and I suggest you do because it's a really nice little route this doesn't take that much DLC either I don't think um, it takes a little bit obviously most of them do but uh... okay and come to a slow please I know it's tough because you are going downhill as long as the middle carriage is on the platform I'd take that, which I think it probably will be. That could be the last carriage. Oh well. Uh, I can't pick up passengers anyway, it's not letting me. Uh, I'll press the button again. 
it's not letting me so there we go either way we shall then continue let's just have a quick look around Stanton Fitzwarren again fairly typical GWR country wayside station small little village Right, sorry, uh, I got distracted. <laughs> That's fine, I don't mind if we speed a little bit here because we're just going downhill anyway. I'm not putting the brakes straight back on as soon as we've left, so... That's why I wouldn't make it as a railway driver. <laughs> that That is the precise reason. Sorry, Haribo. But uh, fortunately, I'm not. I'm just. I just pretend to do it. And so, if here anyone dies, it doesn't really matter. But then, does it ever? Yes. Yes, it does. To answer that question, it very much does matter. So then we've got to go. So it's Hannington, and then Highworth. Sounding of the whistle. What for? I don't know. There must be a little. Oh, it's a level crossing. Quite a nice place to watch the trains come by, actually. As it saunters along its merry way, and then you are once again. Surrounded by just the countryside. That's the one thing I love about railways. Oh. This bit's not used very much, is it? This bit of track, which makes no sense. Um, but that's one thing I do love about railways. The fact that there is... It's explosive action. You'll be sat at a station, particularly a steam railway. Sat at a station. This big steam train comes in. Passengers on and off. Bustle and... You know, doors slamming and cases and voices and then this big whistle and then it just goes. It just goes silent. Right. It goes. To that. And yet there's this metal monster over there that's... making all this noise. Either way, we shall now... Uh, we're coming close to Hannington, so... Regulator off. And Hannington is right underneath this bridge, just through there. You can just see the, uh, the platform just there. Incidentally, Highworth is also a very, very big station for railway modellers. In fact, GWR Termini tend to be. Oh, hello, lady. You are sunken into the platform. Did you upset the builders? Is this your punishment? I've stopped far too quickly there. And I need to pull forward. You know what? Never mind. Let's just see if we can load, shall we? Ah, right, good, I can. Yes, that was a very, very bad stop. Very bad stop indeed. Ah, it looks like they're... Are they building? No, they're just... Um, things are just set out here at Hannington. And Highworth is... Literally just up there. <laughs> it's really not that far away. It's a very short little branch line, this. Which I like. Anyone who's regularly watched my train some stuff will know that I'm a big fan of small little branch lines, but you get a view from the tree.
How far have I? Oh, 89%. That's, that's too much. Maybe that'll do. As I come gently rolling by. What a lovely engine. I've always liked panniers. I like pretty much every kind of tank engine, but panniers are one of my particular favourites. Let's drop down to schoolboy at the fence level. much quicker because the speed limit becomes 15 and we are less than we're just just over a mile away from Highworth now as we say goodbye to the small station of Hannington which didn't appear to have anything near it I mean there's a house there I guess and a few there but they could probably be just as well served by Highworth oh well either way time for us to start pulling out properly as we go up this 1 in 87 hill. I know I've only got three on but I'm still quite a small loco. Not got much traction area on those six wheels but it's got enough. Powerful enough as I said before. I think my book's up there. So bear with me. Ah, God. Oh no. No. No no. No. None of that was a good idea. I'm back now. Beware of the guinea pigs. Climbing up through the farms, presumed to get up to the level of Highworth. Tell you what, short but sweet and enjoyable. Very, very much enjoyable, this route. Genuinely do go and check this out in, in the description below. Go to the Steam Workshop and grab it. Like I said, I genuinely don't think there's much in the way of DLC requirement for it. Um, obviously, click on the link in the description and check it, but do go and support it because I think this is a really nice route and I will be coming back to uh, go from Swindon to Stroud, probably with something big, maybe a, a king or a manor, well a manor's not big, a king, a hall or maybe even a castle, something anyway. Sounding that whistle which does, it does its job, it does its job but I don't think it really sounds like a like a pannier whistle. Oh, hello. Come on. Okay, this is where things could get embarrassing. If I can't keep this going up the hill. There we go, caught it. Just about got waiting to be oh, for a second I was genuinely worried there. But we've caught it and we are now climbing the hill safely. I didn't realise Highworth was quite so high. It's in the name. Before you put it in the comments, I'm aware it's in the name, but that doesn't necessarily mean. That's fine. 9.8 miles an hour is fine. So you what, try controlling your speed as you come out of Highworth. It's 
got to be a magic number in there somewhere. I'm looking at my reverser here. There has to be a magic number in there somewhere. I'm also running out of steam pressure, which is a bit of a bugger, so I'm going to have to slam the brakes on, stick that in full, turn that off, and wait for the steam pressure to build up. Oh god, I didn't need this to happen. I'm like 0.2 miles away from high width platform. I can see it. There it is. In all its glory and splendour, it's right there. There is high worth. And you can see me from the platform. Come on, go forwards. One, go forwards, come on. Okay, it's just going to hold me on the hill. No, I'm actually slipping backwards. So that's quite embarrassing, but I'm going to call that to a halt there because we have actually, I mean, I c it, the route is not bad, I couldn't drive it. The route is well worth doing and we'll just pretend, like, um, so we'll just pretend that I'm the engine for this last little bit because, you know, uh, We made it to Highworth. What? Anyway, like I said, um, this is it's a really good route. It's not the route's fault that I got stuck up there. That's my that's my driving. It is a really good route. I'm sorry to the author. I'm to the route of that. I'm really sorry that I couldn't f complete it properly. Um, but that's entirely my fault for letting my letting my um, my steam pressure run out. Either way, uh, thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please do check out this route. In the Steam Workshop, you'll find the link in the description below. Also, I will have noted which DLCs it needs. Um, check out the rest of this playlist in the description below. Check out the Sodor Snippets playlist in the description below. If you're wondering what I'm talking about with Sodor Snippets, I built an island of Sodor in Train Sim. Um, it isn't currently available for download anywhere, so please don't ask me. I am looking at it, and I am going to try and get bits of it out. Um, but the full route will not be available for a long time. Um, uh, but either way, uh, I shall do my best to get bits of it to you some way, somehow. Um, but yes, so the solo slip is, is me playing on that on that route. Um, and yeah, otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I was me. That was Train Sim on the Swindon to Highworth branch, which I failed at miserably. I shall see you next time, guys. Goodbye. We're now, we're now heading to the titular station of Crabbenmore. It's the worst restaurant menu ever. <laughs> Crabbenmore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that bloody monkey python. Spam, 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 spam. Give us a fine little bit of regulator as we pull in. That should be enough. And so slam the brakes on. Make the passengers all lurch forward in their seats. <laughs>